Okay, this is like my first motherfucking recording type shit. I've never done one of these shits. This shit kind of weird, like talking to a motherfucking camera and shit. But I want to do some motherfucking like off stream. Oh shit, let me move y'all niggas. Damn. <laughs> but uh, I want to do like some off stream reactions type shit. Bruh. Like some music reactions. Some shit y'all think I wouldn't even be like interested in. So today, bro, uh, shit, I don't know when she dropped this shit. But she dropped. I'm listening to motherfucking Cleo Soul, right? She dropped this shit like. Let's see, when she dropped this shit? She dropped this like EP album. I don't know what it's called. But she dropped this shit September 15th. It is currently the motherfucking 25th. Bruh. Oh God, I've never heard this shit ever in my life. I've just not been in tune with music. But uh, let me give you the rundown of how the fuck I like like thought of this woman like how i got put on to this girl so basically bro i was at i was in the car with some shorty right and uh you know what i'm saying we was exchanges playlists and shit she was cool and then out of nowhere she was like you know who cleo soul is i said absolutely not but i heard it i heard it in my mind and i was like as soon as she put the fucking song on, yo, I feel like, I feel like I was getting hugged by like my grandma or some shit. That's the type of vibe that Cleo Soul gives off for me. Like, like I'm getting held by like a fucking, like, like your grandma or some shit. Like I'm getting held by my fucking grandma or like my fucking mom. Like. Like just being fucking loved or some shit. Like, oh no, Cleo Soul just give that that real ass soul in you type shit. So other than that, bruh, uh Yeah, bro, let's get into the like motherfucking fucking reaction, bruh. The first song is called Self. Oh shit. 
Yo, bro. Okay, that was the first song. I'm not gonna lie, I think that was just some very calm ass shit. That was just like some very calm ass shit. She looked like really wasn't saying no shit. Just some cool ass intro ass music type shit. Um, I have very high hopes for this like little album, EP, whatever this shit is called. But damn, bro, it's like I really feel like I'm getting like hugged, like fucking wrapped around this fucking blanket or some shit, bro. Just like, just like these, my nigga. That's what I feel like, bro. feel like I'm getting wrapped around. Like, everything gonna be okay, my nigga. That's what I feel like every time I listen to her music, bro. But the next, next song is called Airplane. Oh 
my god. Bro, you know how, like, in church, like, if you a nigga or just, like, a person of color, bro, you know how, like, you know how, like, you in, like, a church, bro, and they just hit that one note that just be hitting different, my nigga? And, 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 and like, everyone be like, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. That's what I feel right now. Like, I'm in church, my nigga, and she just spitting, like, she, she going, like, yo, bro, she so good, bro. On God, she could have kept going with that. On God. She could have kept running with that shit at the end. And, like, really went in on, like, some church-style type shit that y'all really would not know unless you wasn't, like, a person of color, bro. But that shit was very good. I feel like she's really... That specific track, she's really showing how good she can sing, my nigga. Cleo... Cleo, we already know you like that girl, my girl. But like, God damn, you just did not have to flex on like niggas like that, bro. The next song is called Next Song is called Go Baby. Go baby, go baby, go baby. Oh, God damn. vocals in the back my nigga do y'all hear that that's that's true that's true motherfucking talent my nigga that's talent bro do y'all hear that Ooh, in the back my nigga that's that's talent
don't know why that just got me so hyped. Like, I don't know why I just got hyped to a Cleo song, soul, like, song hyped. But that shit just made me so hyped. Like, that is so good. So far, Go Baby is the best song on this album. Like, that song was so fucking good, my nigga. Yo. That literally... Yo, that shit... I'm speechless after that. I ain't even gonna lie. That was some, that was some great range of vocals. Like you can just hear, that was just great range of vocals and like the beat and everything just mashed together perfectly with her fucking like with her uh, voice. God damn, bro. Do you can just hear her in the back? Her background vocals was like on point, my nigga. Like. Damn, bro, that that's crazy. The next song is Heaven. You're sent from heaven. Oh my god, yo, that first fucking note. You're one of a kind. Yo, that first. Play that shit back. Hold on, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That shit was. You're sent from heaven. You're sent from heaven. I feel it, I feel it in my soul, bro. I swear to God. Yo, I swear to God, yo. another track it was like another song of her just really like you can just really hear her like vocals like how good how she can actually sing my nigga bro did you hear that my nigga that shit was like i'm telling you cleo soul makes music it's either you're finna be comfort like you're you're either finna like feel comfort like like your grandma's hugging you or you just like a fresh new baby and like everything's so fucking beautiful or is it gonna see it's gonna be some shit that you feel in your soul my nigga like really feeling your soul bro like i felt that song in my soul 
Nigga, that's two back to back tracks where I was just like, damn, she is like that, my nigga. The next song is Old Friends. And this is the fifth track I deny. you anymore I'm tired of choosing you over myself it's sad and it hurts that it is all over and I hate the fact that it's so over sometimes I think if I was more stronger, sunshine, my smiles would last longer. You had my trust and we had choices, but you told my secrets to strangers. my pillow you played games with my emotions real friends don't leave their wounds all open but I'm okay to say that it's so over distance and pain Made my life feel smaller I thought without you I'd be broken I've changed and realized that I can't be alone It's mad and it burns that it is all over But I'm okay to say that it's all over That was old friends. It, that's kind of like a very emotional song and a very emotional topic. Old friends. Damn. Whoever her friend was in this song, bro, in this specific song, whoever the old friend that she was talking about in this specific song. Fuck you, my nigga. Um, damn. Cause like that should just sound depressing, bro. Sound like you put. Like, you just wasn't there as a friend. Honestly, shit was just dog shit. Another song displaying how good her vocals is and how good she can do it over pretty much anything, such as strings, strings, or just, like, anything. Just, just she's very a vocal, heavy artist, if that makes sense. The next song is called Miss Romantic, and I'm very kind of, like, scared because like old friends Loki just put me in like this like like we just went through like go baby heaven two songs that I would just feel like that was just like like beautiful ass songs and then we went to old friends which is like damn that shit just got mad emotional out of nowhere and now we're going to miss romantic now that shit feel like it's going to be like on some dark some dark shit which I haven't heard from Cleo at all so I'm kind of scared to get into this next, like, song, but fuck it. Let's do it, bro. Miss Romantic. Feel play, my nigga. Damn. There we go. Run 
Leaning into him every other week Getting closer every time you both speak Say there's a mutual connection Hoping that he just don't wanna creep Thinking about him on the daily Waiting for the day that he will leave her Your friends tell you be careful But what is life when you're just careful Looking at him like he's a god figure Maybe you just need a father figure Now it's all gone left, he said, she said You knew that were issues before you got there But he's older, you just don't understand He should be responsible for an older man And now you're feeling it firsthand At one point you wanted him to be your man, your man Your man, your man God damn, bro Pick yourself up, girl, it's not deep Worth more than this you just can't see You just need love and affection He's playing on your insecurity Big and strong but he's really weak though Take control of your mind and roll Time to go girl the lessons are Lift yourself lift your blessings up So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna go around or are you gonna leave? Heading in the wrong direction Is this the girl that you wanna be? Looking at him like he's a god figure Maybe you just need a father figure And now you're feeling it firsthand At one point you wanted him to be your man, your man Your man, your man You're just gonna lay there You don't have to stay there You deserve better This romantic But he said he loved Disrespect to yourself is romantic They all know you miss romantic Come on bro you gotta raise the bar up just gonna use you and throw you when he's through You're not what he wants Miss Romantic Where is she gonna go with this? Vocals at the end of each song is so fucking perfect. I thought she was gonna go like when it slowed down. I thought we was gonna get like an interlude or some shit. But I'm other than that, I fuck with the song. Um, damn, that was not what I was expecting. I was I was expecting like a dark at. I seen Miss Romantic after like. The old friends and shit. I'm thinking this is gonna be like one of them dark ass like songs for a girl. Which it it, it was still like a dark ass song. Like yeah, he's just gonna use you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I thought like the vibe of the song was not gonna be fast paced at all. I thought it was gonna be very slow, very dark. Same topic as what she was saying, but I thought it was gonna be very slow like a very slow and very dark like track if that makes sense but you know i'm not not complaining next song the next song is called golden child slash jealous i guess
That song by Cleo Soul was like on some calm shit. Like I can play that shit like to begin my day type shit. Like that just sound like one of those songs, bro. Like just ready to get your day started too. I'm I, I really fuck with that though. Like it was very like just kind of like chill, like background noise almost, but like vibey background noise if that makes sense. But so far. So far, heading into the album, I know there's only two songs left on this album or EP. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Album or EP. But so far, I see like this whole album is very solid. And I can see like two of these songs on my playlist. And that's Go Baby in Heaven. That That's crazy. The next song is Nothing On Me. I feel like this is going to be like on some, so far, this feels like kind of like a little gospel in it, if that makes sense. Because, you know, she's been talking about like God, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, so I'm I'm expecting like, like a church, like just a, like I'm expecting a solo where she just really goes in, bro. That's what I'm expecting. But the next song is called Nothing On Me. That's what I feel like it's gonna come. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I might, I might get what I asked for. I can see it. I can see the vision. Oh shit. Yo, this song sounds like they're freestyling. Like, oh, this did that sound like a freestyle? Like they just like everyone's just freestyling. 
can hear like I don't know if that's an organ or piano, but like you can just hear that shit in the background just freestyling. Like you hear it in the background. And then the drums just playing some shit, bro. Like this this sounds like a freestyle, bro. I really like, I really like this track, and I'm, I'm gonna give you two reasons. One, it sounds like a freestyle. Like, it sounds like they was just in a place where it was like an organ or a piano, organ or piano with a drum set and just a mic, and they was just recording, and they was just chilling, having fun, bro. That's what it sounds like. And, I, and the second reason why I really like how she showcased, like, the instruments on this track. Like, she really wasn't even saying that. But that's really every track she do. But I really like how she showcased that in this particular song. Like, yeah, we just be jamming out for real. That's the vibe I give off. That's the vibe I get off this song, if that makes sense. Last and final song. Love will lead you there. Love will lead you there. This is the last song on the album, bro. Love will lead you there. She gotta stop with like all this shit, bro. She gonna make me catch the fucking Holy Ghost in this bitch. I'm finna be like these, bro. I'm finna be on my motherfucking hands like, hey! like she gotta stop with all that, bro. Like fuck, bro. She has to stop, bro, cause she's she's too vocally talented to be doing all this stuff, bro. She's too vocally talented. Like, there's no way she should be hitting this like this, bro. These notes, bro. These notes really, like, it's really getting me in some type of mood where it's like, damn, bro. Like, why is she this good, bro? Fuck, bro. Consistently strong. Never doubted. Damn, bro. My faith can be holding on. Lessons I don't talk about. It's between me and Looking for your higher self, stay up. Baby, the more that you believe, the more that you will see the strength in us.
fucking good, bro. I just fucking skipped the song a little bit, but nigga, she had to come with the choir, bro. She had to come with the choir, bro. Did she have to come with the choir? She did not have to come with the choir, bro. Shit, not fair, bro. It's just not fair, bro. Like, what? She, she's too fucking good, bro. That was a great outro to a song and everything. That Love Will Lead You There is like a perfect outro to like a great album. But I'm like so speechless. Cause it's like the words of her are so soft spoken, bro. Everything is so soft spoken, but when she needs to turn it up and you really want to hear them fucking vocals, my nigga, she can give it to you, nigga. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I would give this album. Like, she's good. She's very good. And out of the nine songs... This is definitely in the rotation as song. I mean, album. This is definitely in the rotation for albums that I have. But the two songs that stuck out are definitely Go Baby and Heaven. Those two back-to-back -back songs were so fucking good, bro. Other than that, it's like, damn, bro. Just, why is she... She's so vocally gifted, bro. Damn. Well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro. That was Cleo Soul's album slash EP, Heaven. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Heaven. Uh, Give me y'all thoughts on this album, bro. Like, leave a comment, bro. Leave a comment. What was your favorite song off that album? Give me some more, like, music to react to, bro. If y'all want some more reactions, if y'all fucking with it. Damn, bro, I'm so speechless. But other than that, bro, like, comment, subscribe, bro. I'm out, bro.